Okay, see if we can do it again. Okay, this is this is this action is flying. Yeah. I'm Kelly Watt. And I'm Jim Watt. Welcome to Fly Fishing Adventures. And Alaska. Bears and fish are the theme of this episode. On the wild Alagnac River. King salmon, sockeye, and chums. Plus rainbows and grayling. With a side trip to Katmai National Park's famous Brooks Falls. Plus a little retrospective of Katmai National Park in the early 80s. Shortly after it became a national park. <laughs> The wild Alagnac is here on the Alaska Peninsula, beginning in Kukoklik Lake, meandering west for over 60 miles, joining the Quijack River, which then flows into the Bering Sea. Anglers from all over the world are here in pursuit of all five species of salmon, plus rainbow trout, char, and grayling. This was an action-packed morning of chum catching, for which the lodge and the Alagnac are world famous. Six item salad bar that includes the three lettuces that are in there, and we claim it's the largest salad bar in the state of Alaska because I have been around and I haven't seen any with that many items. And we also have a baked potato item, baked potato bar. Uh, it's got sour cream, chives, bacon bits, selection of cheeses, salt crusted baked potato, whipped butter. And the salad bar is pretty lengthy. Right here we'll have chicken on the grill, sockeye, steak, and you also have a choice of a red wine demi glaze for your steak. <laughs> what do they say? Come for the fish and stay for the food. Another popular way to catch chums, and by far the most exciting is wogging. So this is a little the deer hair popper, yep. like a bass bug, Fishing that wakes the across surface, the surface, but, uh, driving the fish mad. Foam-backed, floating fly. Oh, Ooh, you got one facing it right there. Woo! That's a good indicator. Cool. Wow. 
<laughs> That's first cast and a little activity. We like that. We know they're here. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, look Ooh. at that. Look at that. Ooh. Still coming, still coming. <laughs> Sunshine, no raincoats. Come on. <gasps> oh, that's pretty cool. That was like Jaws. Oh. I'm not. I'm not doing anything. I'm letting it go. You're mocking me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one was looked pretty eager. That did look like an eager it's beaver. Takes him a little bit of coaxing to get him to stick their mouth out of the water around it. Well, it's pretty, pretty common to see a lot more action than you, than to, for what you get putting a bend in the rod, but it sure makes it worth it. It's oh. a lot of fun seeing those fish oh, it's great. come at your fly and swirl at it and bite it. Like a trout strike. Yeah. Just <laughs> it's kind, of, <laughs> kind of gentle strike for such a big fish. Oh, that was gorgeous. Back to the 20th century in the mid 1980s, even though there were no bears at the falls, they were very active in the lower river just above the floating bridge. The fishing for sockeye in the early 80s was spectacular. There were fish everywhere. He got one. <laughs> in the early days of the park, rangers did their spotting from makeshift towers they built in the spring. Quite a change from then to today's viewing platforms. In respect to the bears and their feeding habits, little has changed over the last 32 years since Katmai became a national park and preserve. What has changed is the education and experience the ranger staff has gained in how best to manage the resource and the increase in visits. There we go. Come on. Come on. Um. Be able to sit right here in the grass. <laughs> All right. Woo. There he is. Perfect. Nice adult. Nice. Alagnac king. Ready for the release? You bet. Okay. Good. Fantastic. Now to kick him back. Woohoo! Early in the day. <laughs> right on. <laughs> we were so, just so close to stopping. Yeah. So one more cast, one more cast. Oh, we got to finish this run. I'm so glad we did. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Very cool. Now we can go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>